hellos, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janice, for those of you who are new here, and tonight I'm going to be sharing with you my nighttime skincare routine. So for those of you who may know me from Instagram, I've been getting this as a video request for God knows how long, and I'm finally, finally, finally recording it to share with you guys. Um, honestly, I got into skincare because of my eczema and having some challenges with acne as well and really trying to find something that works for my skin I'm um, learning my skin more, understanding what it responds well to um, so yeah, so I'm just going to be sharing what I usually do on a typical night and hopefully it helps you if you've had similar struggles so let's get started first thing we're going to do is wash our hands like we can be doing skincare all about self-care and we're going to be touching our face and we're going to wash our hands first so wash your hands first step i use a paper towel i don't use rags um or regular towels when dealing with my face because i don't want to reinfect my face with anything or put germs back or dirt back on my face now we're going to cleanse so when it comes to cleansers, I have three things that I use, but honestly, there's one that I use most, and that's this one. You can see the bottle has been through, been through a lot. But yeah, um, it's a Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser, um, and I use this literally every day. But every now and then, I'll swap it for this, uh, which is the Boots Vitamin C Cleanser. I really find that it just adds a little boom to my face, you know, it gives a little bounce. And it just makes my face feel super clean and fresh without feeling dry. But sometimes it tends to can be a little bit harsh. Um, and then literally once per week, I'll use this. The Mario Badescu Skincare Facial. I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, this. <laughs> this because um it really gives me a deep clean but it's kind of harsh so i literally would use it once a week i don't recommend using it more than once and sometimes i honestly forget to use it but it's good especially if you have a breakout or you really want some extra deep clean but tonight we're gonna stick to my saving grace and that's the clean and clear my go-to so i just put a little bit because my bottle broke i just put a little bit on my hand not too much in fact i probably put ice too much really don't need a lot um i use warm water i should have pat my face in the warm water first but yeah i just pat my face with the warm water a little bit and then i start rubbing it in but i found that using my hands alone i didn't always feel like i got a good clean so I bought one of these handy dandy brushes. Um, no, mine honestly stopped working after not even too long. I feel like after a month or two. Um, I think it's not really meant to be waterproof or something's wrong with mine, but we ain't wasting none. So I still use it, even though it doesn't have the spin brush. Sometimes it gets a little messy, but that's okay. That's all right. Well, y'all all up in my business. All up in there. Anyway, yeah, get like a good clean. Make sure you take your time to wash your face properly. Like, it's not a rush thing. Take, take like a minute to wash your face. In fact, I may take a little more than a minute, but. Do not just go No Get in there, clean properly And then anyways, and get your neck How could I forget to say that? Get your neck Everything that you do should be doing to your neck too Okay, so I rinsed in warm water Because that just helps to open up my pores Then take out the bottle hot dry and I'm going to try to get as much water off as possible because tonight I'm going to be doing an exfoliation 
So I'm going to be using the chemical peel from The Ordinary. I honestly really love this product. Uh, this is one of those things where this is one of those things that I only use once per week though because it can be harsh. You're really not recommended to use it more than once. I think the the company recommends one to two times per week. I just do once for that sensitive sensitive skin. Light exfoliation. It does tingle a little bit. In fact, I just have this one time. A little bit more. Just a toast. Oh, that's more than a toast. <laughs> but we're gonna use it anyway. Just a little bit. Um I just work it in there and then you're gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. No but I think you're gonna leave it for 15 minutes, make it work a little bit more, 20 minutes, you know. The thing says 10 minutes, we're doing 10 minutes, sis. Okay? So 10 minutes and then we're going to rinse off. So check me back in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now, so we're gonna wash this off. We've already cleansed, we've exfoliated, and the point of exfoliating is really to get a deeper clean. You're getting rid of all the dead skin that might still be on your face, and it's really just gonna help you to achieve that smooth complexion. So again, pat dry with paper towel, and then we are going to tone. So what I like to do, especially if I've been in the sun all day, um, I haven't really been in the sun because honestly, we all locked down, ain't really going nowhere. But I still like to use a little bit of aloe vera gel just to kind of give my face a little reset after all that sun exposure. I like to keep mine in the fridge because then the aloe vera gel is a little bit chilled um, and that's just nice to kind of help when we're bringing our pH balance back down with our toner. So this is what I put on right before my toner. Um, the fact that it's cold and we've been using all this lukewarm water is good because it's now going to help to close your pores back up a little bit. It's super healthy and organic. It doesn't smell all that great, but it's like non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, as natural as it gets. But yeah, aloe vera gel. It's good, especially if you live in the tropics, you're an island girl like myself. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to wipe up. My mom always says, wipe up, Jen, wipe up. Don't be dragging down your face. Then I'm gonna take my toner. So for toner, I either use this from Neutrogena or I use a little bit of rose water. Not too fancy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use my Neutrogena one. Just a little bit. But, And you'll also see if you miss anything, like if you see any dirt or anything coming up on the cotton pad, I don't. I usually don't, because after you've cleansed and you've exfoliated, the likelihood of still having dirt or anything on your face is pretty low. Just be gentle, take your time, like, take your time. You're doing my skincare routine, like it's my time. Don't rush. Like, this is my time to just enjoy my skin and take care of myself. And I think it's a nice time at the end of the day, after a long hectic day, to just reset, replenish, rejuvenate. We're looking good, we're feeling good, we're doing good. Yeah. So yeah, after we've done that, now we're wrapping up, right? Now we're just going to use our 
serum. I like to use this one from The Ordinary as well. Honestly, I really like The Ordinary products. Um, they're simple, they're inexpensive, and you just have to do your research to find what works for you. Because of my eczema, I and I do have a little hypopigmentation, it's, I've been working on it, so it's not so bad right now. Um, I like these products that I'm using in the video. So this one has vitamin B3 and zinc. It's just a little bit. It's a tad. It's a tad bit. And then I rub it in. It's so good already. I am pretty light. That much I can also use. I really use them sparingly. Um, I don't like to overdo it. Um, and these products are also really good for oily skin because sometimes I get a little greasy. Um, but it's, it's about finding the balance between being moisturized and not too greasy. Moisturized, greasy, like you wanna find the right balance. Plus you're going to bed, so nobody's seeing it except you boo. And you already know what you look like. Um, last thing now is to um, moisturize. So I use rose hip seed oil. I've been using it for a little while now. In fact, this bottle is almost done. Excess, you just put it on your hands. For me, I've got a crazy dough in a while ago. Whatever it will absorb. After I've moisturized, I then put on a little bit of chapstick or a bit of um, lip therapy. This is how I moisturize. I did have a little breakout right here. Um, that I put some tea tree oil on, so that will be my last little tidbit, my last nugget I'll share with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna put a little chops of tea tree oil on this, because it's going down pretty fast. It's drying up. So yeah guys, that is my full nighttime skincare routine. I usually do this a little bit before bed to give it some time to marinate and soak in um, and have some water. But I do this, I do this after I brush my teeth, so there's nothing else for me to do but just drink some water, go to bed, relax. Um, but yeah, that's my nighttime skincare routine. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.